I'm gonna show you all of the YouTube equipment you need to make your videos look like this instead of this. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so everybody wants their videos to look and sound as good as possible, but you might not know how. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that I use to make everything look and sound the way that it does, and I'm gonna show you a few simple things that you can do in your editing process to really make your image come to life. Number one, and arguably the most most important is lighting. In my particular setup with the gear that I use, which we'll get into that here in a little bit, the actual lights are can lights. In a nutshell, these lights make it extremely easy to control the light in the room. Instead of using big soft boxes that are gonna wash light over the whole area back here in the back, I can put the light on me up here in the front and then that leaves the back area a little bit darker so that I can do all the accent stuff with the color in the background. On my right side when I'm recording, I have one light up here on top of the shelf. It bounces off of the wall and that light comes comes in and it fills the light in from this side of my face. The other light that I have is my key light and that light comes in and it puts the majority of the light over here on this side of my face. So the job of the light on this side is to be the primary giver of light and the light on the other side is simply just to fill in the shadows so that I don't have just a big dark side over here on the side of my face. Let me show you what I mean. This shot here is me with just the one key light over on the one side. This shot here is just me with the fill light on the other side. And this of course is me with both lights on the way that they should be. Now, if we go back to the backlights again, you're going to see that I have the blue lights that are shining onto the background. A lot of people think that this is a green screen or something like that, but this is real life. I basically set it up so that the blue lights are gonna be shining onto the curtain. In addition to the blue light shining on the curtain, I also have this little light here that gives me just a little bit of splash for this area right here, because this area right here typically ends up pretty dark. So basically that little light puts a little bit of the blue splash there and helps keep it from being as dark. And that's also a compliment when I do my live streams because that also fills in a dark spot in my live streams with the blue as well. When I turn these lights off here in the back, you'll see that even though the image quality is the same, even though I still have the same lights in the front, it just doesn't pop without the lights in the background like it does like this. So much better. Am I right? Yeah. And the whole idea here is simply just to separate me from what's going on in the background and make everything look a little bit more interesting. For my audio setup, I'm using an Audio-Technica routing through a Zoom H4n audio recorder. That Zoom is plugged directly into my DSLR so I don't have to worry about syncing things up later, which makes my workflow faster. Next up is microphone position. If you look at this shot right here, you'll see that the microphone is just about a hand's distance away from my mouth. And the reason that I keep it that close is because it helps give my voice a nice full sound because it's right next to my face. When you look back here, you'll see the microphone is nowhere within the shot and it's literally right here. If I just put my finger up here, I'm touching the tip of the microphone right now. The reason this is so important is because if you put the microphone on top of the camera, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna create more space between your camera and you, which is also going to pick up a lot of the reflections or the, a lot of the sounds bouncing around the room, which is really gonna have a big impact on how your audio sounds. And it's not a pretty impact. It makes your voice sound real tinny and just gives you tons of space around and it really takes away from your presence in the video. But let's head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you some basic things to keep in mind to help your image come to life a little bit, just in case you're not doing these things already. Let's go. For this, we're using Vegas 15. I'll have a link to this down in the description below. But basically, I'm going to show you three things that can really help bring your image to life. The first is brightness and contrast. As you can see, as I slide the sliders back and forth on the brightness and the contrast, you can see the image gets brighter, you can see the image gets more contrasty, and when that happens, that can actually help kind of pop you out. That can really help make everything look a lot more rich and a lot more colorful just by itself. The second is sharpening. Cameras do a fantastic job of giving you a nice, clean, sharp image, but if you wanna bring the whole thing to life a little bit, if you add just a little bit of sharpening to your image in your editing software, it can really make a big difference on the end result as far as how crisp and clean everything looks. Third is saturation. When you adjust saturation on a video, basically what you're doing is you're bringing the colors out. You're basically taking the color that was maybe at a, at a base and you're popping it up just a little bit to bring the whole entire image to life. Share this video with a YouTuber friend that needs help with all of this stuff. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.